Well, let's go right to Courtney QB. So, Courtney, no flights. I saw that Qatar basically said, we've hit our capacity of Afghans that we will take. Uh, I take it we would ha more planes would take off if they had a place to land. So, yes, and I, I can actually tell you now, we've just heard from uh, U.S. Air Force officials at Air Mobility Command. They're saying that there was at least one flight that has taken off in the past two hours or so. So uh, it. it it's 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 unclear exactly if that means that this pause has ended. Uh, it, it, what is clear is where they the U.S. military had ramped up to, a, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 to 17 uh, flights in every 24 hours in the past day or so. They had really moved up to the, the number of flights that were coming and going out of Kabul International Airport. What's very clear is today, Friday, the, the pace has slowed down dramatically. There was an extended period where no flights were taking off. And the real reason is, you know, look at what they've done. They've moved several Several thousand people out in a very short period of time. They've been flying them in to Doha, Qatar, to the U.S. military base there. Well, at a certain point, when you bring thousands of people in, you can't fit more people. These are they're having to they, they take them in. They have to care and feed for them and feed them, and they're not immediately moving them out to another location. So there's just a bottleneck. You know, we were talking earlier about earlier in the week about these the bottlenecks that existed uh, getting people through the Taliban checkpoints. Then the bottlenecks that existed. Mm -hmm getting them into the airport, then the bottleneck that existed of manifesting them, getting them on flights and getting them out. Well, now we have the fourth place where we're having a, a logistical bottleneck, and that is right. a, a location to actually send these thousands of evacuees. And, and I can, we can now report that there are thousands of people at Kabul airport that are waiting to get on these flights. I can also tell you, Chuck, there is a frantic scramble right now to get these people who are waiting at the airport on these flights and find a place to send them. The U.S. Uh, government is in negotiations right now with a number of different locations, both yep. in Europe and in the Central Command area, about being able to send some of these evacuees and Americans to get them out of Kabul and get them to the, uh, these other locations. Mainly, they'd be sending them most likely to U.S. military facilities in, in, in either the CENTCOM area or Europe.